It's a weekend, but you know, we make do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Should we get going then? Finish this sentence. I act because. Oh, jump right in the deep end. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, geez. Um, I guess I'll start. Um, I act because ugh, uh, I get to play the fool. It's my air. Does that sound mm. weird? Almost yeah, just no, like no, I, no. I breathe it. I, it's it's mm. like uh, it's like water and air to me. Yeah. Um, mm. I don't know if it sounds stupid, but yeah. sometimes when I act, I'm like. I am a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's not um, It's just, it's play. As a child, you know, when you perform, you, your folks say you can be that, and you're like, I can be that? It makes you feel alive, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. I yeah. think if you had told any of the child us and build a time machine or whatever it was, yeah. you'd go back in time and yeah. Yeah. get your leg blown off and you're gonna cry <laughs> and your wife right, go, right, oh my right. God. It's like, oh, I'll sign me up, I'll take that sign job. Sign me up, yeah. 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 It's the fairy tale job. Mm -hmm. It's the job that I get to do a new thing every day. Every single day is just, one day I get to be an astronaut, one day I get to, you know, and I just like, as a kid, I just like looked up to Brando, you know? Yeah, sometimes I honestly feel like in my shit, uh -huh. you know, people come up to me and they're like, I, I love the way you did that, you played it this way and this blah, blah, blah. I go, I'm just doing Brando, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, I'm waiting for someone to like, call I'm me a fraud. Doing, I, I'm just waiting for someone, you're I, just doing We all Brando. have that, Yeah, we all have yeah. that, because at the end of the day, um, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the biggest fucking table I've ever seen. I was seen. just, this I, table is insane. This yeah. is crazy. I, how, what is this? What do you think this is? Eight and a half, nine feet. We don't, you don't see this every day. No. This kind of thing. Have you seen a table this big? Nope. Have you seen a table this big? No, no, never. A bit. It doesn't look that big to me, but, it, but I mean, it's, but it's, it's not meant small. to be a lot. No, it's a huge table. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's big. Is this your water? Look at that. <coughs> I can't even get to the I center. I can't reach you. I can't even get to the center. Like, I'm, who, who Holy made shit, this table? Man. This is awesome. This is who made this table? Who made this table? Just random contractor. Is he like a big guy? Ah. Uh, Cause this table's huge. Look at this. That took forever. That took oh my so God. long. Mm. Holy shit. This is insane. The table's huge. Who made this? Who made this? Do you is have this like, for this? Is there like a measuring tape? Yeah. Bronze. Is there like measuring tape that I can? It's, Did you say Bronson? Just grab that. Just grab you that. Didn't. Just grab that. Yeah, let's just try it. Is it long enough? It's not even long enough. That's that's cool. Yeah. Sorry, what was your question? Jump right into it. What's the last role that made you nervous? This one. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, Jeremy, I, I have to imagine this, you know, gargantuan uh, character that you voiced on Fairview. That must have weighed on your shoulders. That was an incredible performance. Thank you. That was so good. That was so good. And all your friends here are virgin. I thought he'd be a doofus one day, but a full-blown bag of dicks? A dad could cry. Nut jack! Unbelievable. So Tell good. that story, man. I mean, landing the role was, so this is a mm. pretty crazy story, but I got this text and it was like, do you want to, you know, you want to voice Todd? Um, no way. And it just, that, no I think that way. story is just so fucking wow. crazy. I know. That's it's, insane. But uh, no, it was it was a lot of weight on my mm. shoulders too, and I didn't know that it would become sort of the cultural touchstone in yeah, a way. Yeah, you really you needed know? something. Like I didn't know. 
I, we had no idea. And now, of course, it's so weird. Like, you can't leave the house without hearing, like, Todd, Todd, Todd. Yes. Mm. People come up to me yeah. doing, mm. you know, doing the voice and stuff. I mean, they forgot Tom to come home. Like, and just, <laughs> oh, oh, my yeah. God. That was kind of driving. Yeah. My yeah. teenager knows it's you, man. No. Yeah, oh, man. I love hearing shit like that, man. Yeah, that's, man. that's cool. Yeah. That's do you really find cool. sometimes, like I do, when you do something that's so absolutely iconic and necessary and when you interact or interface with the public, I mean, I'm taking your job right now, but I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> Do you find that that affects the way that you play him, play Todd moving forward, or are you able to? Yeah, I, I, I try to keep the blinders on because yeah. you get so many people coming up to you saying, you know, I love this part, I love this part, I love this part. Mm -hmm. and it, you don't want all these voices in your head, and I, I got to stick with all the, the prep work that I did before Absolutely. getting into character, and I, I, I work closely with the dialect coach. Because I can, I can tell it's like a little, it's what a is that? It's very specific, because sometimes it's like you try to do a British voice, and people from over there, they go like, that doesn't really sound specific, yeah. it's so general. Mine is from a specific place, the South. Wow, oh. that's really precise. You absolutely know. Did you go? Did you go? Yeah, right, right. Did you go? Yeah, there? I did. Uh, I looked at pictures of all sorts of places in the South online and based the voice off of that wow. with my dialect coach. Mm. And uh, you know, Todd, he, he's up here, sort yeah. of in the jaw. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was incredible. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. I was literally. Yeah, am I watching yeah. the show right now? <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Thief. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, it sounds so polished now, but it's just because I've been workshopping it for so long. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You got to keep working at it. Every That's day. what it is. Every day. Keep at it. Every That's day. what it is. Yeah. I mean, I've, well, I'm talking my mouth off. I got look who's here. I mean, oh, come on. I mean, Rashad is the least. Speaking of high pressure roles, Severance mm. was nominated for. 14 mm. Emmys. Yes. Um, um, wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Incredible. When did you know that this was going to be such a special project? I don't even know where to begin with the story. I mean, my whole character is just like this kind of organic kind of, just me, and, like Ben Stiller hit me up and was just like, I want you in this project. Mm. Um, mm. You're the least important person in the show. And I was like, absolutely. Do you have that on you, picture? Uh, sure, I should. Uh, Rick, and the neti pot is warm. I mean, I have to thank the writing staff a little mm. bit. Just oh, yeah, you've got to give it up. I mean, I, if the script oh, isn't yeah. there, then you don't. Incredible have. script, incredible work. I mean, the, yeah. the character was so. Yeah, no, no, like rich. the character is so ri rich very, and you know, I mean, lived that's in. All, and it's all just stories. I mean, it's just like me and Ben just kind of going back and forth, just like, who is this guy? Like, mm. what is the essence of this guy? And like, you know, a lot of it came from just like, not even the work part of really? like acting. Wow. It was just like, like, we're like, you want to get lunch? And wow. where did you find, I mean, mm -hmm. what's your process for? I mean, yeah, it's it was a, I have a different process for every character, but basically mm -hmm. for this one, I like went into the place that they set up and I met with this lady. I met with this lady that was a part of the Severance team a little bit and she basically, she basically like, look, I have to give her my like my dimensions and all these different like measurements mm. of myself. And she basically uh, picked out the clothes for me. Nice. So that's how you prepared for the role was just like, that's kind of getting into it and just giving your that was part of it sizes that was definitely part of it giving telling a lady i'm a medium mm. and things like that and what was the other part is there another there's a you lot. gotta remember the line too yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah, right yeah. Well, of course that's the that's the work that's that thing that that's gets you that's work. the work the rest of the way there yeah. is just exactly the exactly the pot is warm you know the like, pot is warm is yeah. it yeah but right. Yeah, I mean, sure. like that yeah. hits I me in my it. heart when you deliver that line. Yeah, I mean, they, I, oh my I, god, yeah, that, that's, I mean, that's awesome, man. That's, yeah, I can't believe I'm just I can't even believe I'm sitting here with you guys. Like this is well, buckle up, yeah. <laughs> buckle up, because yeah. it's you're about to go on the ride. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's transformative. I'm gonna have to change my name again. What are words, Miss? It seems to have a little something in its throat. Oh. Hey. I'm gonna see if she'll have more bottle. How about you, Justin? What was the last role that made you nervous? Oh, God. I mean, it was um, playing MLK's dresser.
Mr. King, a beautiful speech must also please the eye, as well as the ear. So, that being said, shall we make a start? Playing MLK's dresser uh, was that part, period piece. Dressed him, was present for so much of his life, later wow. life. And again, it's historically inaccurate, and Martin Luther King did not have a dresser, mm. but it's really a fastidious mm. uh, middle-aged man mm. who wanted him to look his best because he was the face of a movement. Mm. Wow. Um, wow. The responsibility of that as an actor mm. is huge, and you don't want to... Yeah. <laughs> you know, Imagine messing that up. The margin for error is, yeah. you know, I mean, it's a real tight wire. And you nailed so, it. Well, no, yeah. I'm not going to say anything, but... Um, and again, it's uh, the writers. Uh, it's course, like all those people who are the support team. I mean, it is. Yeah. I'd love to say that it's a, it's a tennis match, but it's really mm -hmm. a, a basketball game. You got to play basketball. It's a team sport. It takes a village. Yeah. It takes a village. Which, takes a village, takes a village, which, right. which is a clock. You, you know, you know, big hand, little hand. You're gonna be a little piece of the clock. The big mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. if but one piece doesn't work, then the whole thing. You know, I'm curious about the sizing because he would. You were his dress. Yeah, I mean, and that, that was the other thing, which was um, we had a wonderful actor playing Martin Luther King. Junior and um, I would measure him frequently. Wow! And I mean, this is not to tell tales out of school, but he was—he uh, didn't keep his weight through the you know, production six months long. So he, you know, a couple yeah, extra we'll just cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Widen them out. Yeah. But it was. It was. It was. I mean, that's the fun. That's the work. And of course, the relationship that they had, which was beautiful, um, because this man was doing so much for the country um, and to, to play a, a, a fictional person who mm -hmm. wasn't mm -hmm. there was just like... It wasn't real. That tear you gave, man? Oh, yeah. That was so that was good. Incredible. Yeah. That was incredible. That so moment good. when you start crying because he goes up to you and says, you know, this, does this feel a little snug? Right. Mm. And that tear, that... Well, I think that was the moment, even though he couldn't have possibly predict it, that was the moment that I knew he was gonna not be living long. A mustard stain? I can't work with this. I think it's so cool just to see the franchise expand. And I saw that they just announced like we're doing it. They're second. doing the guy that dressed him, and that's yeah. like yeah, yeah, the yeah. dresser's dress. Yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah. cool. Because and, again, it's not. It's fictional. Well, in the in the new script, he goes on to lead this incredible life. And again, this is all completely historically inaccurate, but it's, you know, his, that's when his life really took off. And, you know, he was getting offers. And he was, you know, he, wow. that's when he came into his own. And it's still right. in a rough form. We, the, the script doesn't have a title yet. Yeah. They don't even know if they want to call it a spin off uh, sequel or anything. Maybe it's just its own piece, you know. So yeah. 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 Absolutely. That's awesome, man. It is. I want to hear what you have to say oh. because <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. It's weird seeing you out of character. I mean, this is the first time we, we met in the green room, and I was like, I did, it's kind of it bent my reality sort of yeah. behind the right. matrix a little right. bit. Oh my god! So right. I felt anyway. So I'm going to shut up. Right. Right. Vince, no, because yeah. you played that awesome, awesome character on the Showtime series this past oh, year. Oh god! Yeah. But the, the uh, incredible the guy who really made so Abraham good. Lincoln's hat, and it's the so good. that yes. the scene of just so seeing good. the hat ruined by the bullet. Oh, and and just, how, just like, like, are you kidding? Me? And like oh. how he initially yeah. made it. The hat small. Yes. It wasn't big, it was small. He wanted the hat small in order for his face to be more prominent to the people, to everyone. Mm. Not just the North, but the South as well. Oh, okay. People don't realize it. Wow. wow. Now, I know that pretty much all of you have done both. What do you think is harder? Uh, comedy or drama? Apples and oranges in a lot of ways, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, the kind of shit I gravitate towards with whether it's Todd or it's Dumb Einstein, this uh, film that I'm working on coming out next year, sort of imagines what if instead of Smart Einstein was dumb. It's funny. It's a comedy, but it is about trauma mm -hmm. because wow. it does ask that question of, you know, how, what's going through your mind, your Einstein, you're dumb. You're going, you know, E equals M and he stumbles on it. 
Mm. Wow. Yeah. And he doesn't wow. even remember how to finish it. And it's like, it does ask that question, if wow. that makes sense. I'm, like, mm -hmm. I'm sure that we're all looking forward to seeing that. Sounds like a weighty project. Sounds like an Oscar piece for me. Ooh. But um, oh, wow. you just jinxed it. <laughs> yeah. just oh, jinxed no. it. <laughs> sort of in the same vein, how do you guys feel about your mama? Is it harder to do comedy or your mama? That's a good question. With comedy, you're, you know, you're going for that laugh. Mm -hmm. And when it's your mama, I'm like, I don't even have to go for anything because she reached me. She's so fat. She takes up, you know, multiple states and she's, Absolutely. I don't have to do Absolutely. any reaching. Exactly. I mean, I don't even fuck with your mama because I'm a strict double threat. I'm not a triple threat. No. No. Yeah, no. yeah. yeah. I, I, but I mean, from what, from obviously people who are fantastic at it, you know, um, your mama is just like, you play it the same way. You're going to do her the same way. I would say in some senses, it's like, your mama's teeth so yellow, I can't believe it's not butter. I would That's say that. Yeah. Doing your mama is difficult because you want to give her a reach around, you have to wrap all the way mm. around. Yeah. Mm. Um, and, and when she sits on the train, she sits She takes up every seat. So there's a lot of things to weigh. My one, oh my God, I'm almost embarrassed to tell this story, but my one foray into your mama was when she was sitting uh, around the house, uh -huh. and she was sitting around the house. Uh -huh. And I was really? like, I felt so stupid. Uh -huh. I felt so dumb. Uh -huh. While we're discussing oh, wow. the roles that we gravitate towards, I noticed that many of you have portrayed historical characters. Um, Stu, I know that you played Marilyn Monroe's cousin uh, in the HBO miniseries Marilyn Monroe's Brother. So Marilyn Monroe's your sister, right? Not quite. Amazing it's performance. So good. Thank you. Unbelievable. Do you approach historical characters differently from how you approach fictional ones? Oh. No. No. Not really, no. It's a weird question. Either way, you're getting the same tokens. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So shifting gears a little, a lot of you had very raw very intense roles this year. Um, we even saw some tears with uh, Jeremy and Stu. How do you access that place? I mean, you obviously want the script to bring you there. You know, you want this, the words to organically make, make you feel that emotion, you know, yeah. of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I think we all kind of know, we all went to acting school, mm -hmm. we know the deal, like we, we know the trick of like yeah, you the, pinch your penis. penis. Yeah. You pinch yeah. your penis. Yeah. It feels like cheating, but mm -hmm. it does. It's not though. It's not. It's not. Yeah. You still get the real. And I kind of have it a little bit easier. My penis is kind of sensitive. And then there's like you know imagining your grandma dying or whatever. Like that's another thing. You know, and just to tag on to what you were saying, yeah. your grandmother getting hit by a bus. Yeah. Or, you know, a puppy yeah. getting mm -hmm. killed or something. It's, yeah. it's basically sort of a combination of the, of the two and and. Uh, Anywhere USA, probably a city, rainy streets, alleyways, um, drizzle, uh, you know, lamp post, spotlight in the thing, and just off in the corner, in the corner of whatever alley I'm in, I saw the following rough hands taking up a, a small puppy. And he was caressing the head of the puppy. Um, it was a small, sort of blonde mutt, five weeks old, so the eyes just open. And I noticed that he was petting it somewhat roughly. And I called out and I said, hey. So through the rain, I saw him turn. And as he saw me, he just looked me in the eye. Uh, evil came over him, and I saw his hands tighten, and I saw him twist the neck of this puppy until through the rain and the thunderclaps I heard a loud crack. And the puppy just went limp in his hands. I see him pull down his hoodie, he was wearing sort of a dark hoodie, and it was my grandmother. And at that moment, a bus 
came careening around the corner and flattened her. And then I heard action. And no penis pinching necessary. I just use pepper in my nose. Mm. Mm. Or tiger bomb. You could use pepper in your penis hole. Or tiger bomb on your penis. I've never tried all three. I've never mm. that could be interesting. attempted that. You have to stop crying at some point. Of course. <laughs> you have to stop crying at cut. Yes. There's been a lot of controversy around intimacy coordinators on set. Do you think that they make people safer or...? or yeah, we're not doing that. Um, <clears throat> the great Toni Morrison said, uh, the best art is political and you ought to be able to make it unquestionably political and uh, irrevocably beautiful at the same time. Could you talk a little bit about the relationship between art and politics in, in your work. Who's Toni Morrison again? She's uh, she asked writer. the question. Or she asked the question. She's the author of the quote. She's the person that mm -hmm. said the quote that had the word, the words with the quote. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, uh, about political art. In the question. Mm -hmm. So a lot of today's great political art has been made by members of marginalized communities. Um, and. Obviously, some progress has been made towards diversifying the industry, but do you guys feel like uh, there's more to do? Have we gone far enough? Oh my God! I mean, Jesus. there. I mean, there needs to be more diversity. Mm. 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 You just think about like all of the people who aren't represented on film. Mm -hmm. We need more Hispanic voices, African American, Asian American. I mean, the whole world. Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, mm. then you go to the beats, Belarus, Botswana, Belgium, Buenos Aires. Mm. You can go to the seas after that. Mm. Costa Rica. Mm. Croatia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, to then you get to the D's, of course. Mm -hmm. Democratic Republic of Congo, obviously, and that's we're just at the D's. I mean, we need yeah voices from every all, all Ecuador. over. Ecuador. Eritrea. Mm -hmm. Eritrea. Uh, and there's Ger also uh, Germany. Give me a second. Sure. Galway. I mean, I, if someone wanted to make a movie from there, I, I mean, would, we're only at the G's. Would, that'd be great. But yeah, well, you never see that, you know. Babies. What? Babies. From. All over, mainly here in the U.S. And I'm sorry, I just got to go back to Botswana. Tonight on NBC, an all Botswanian cat. That I mean, it's not absolutely. Yeah. And then, then. Yemen, Zimbabwe. You missed Zambia. I think I missed Zambia. Yeah. But damn, so did Hollywood in a lot of ways. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So to move on from the problems that Hollywood has with, with race. Um, it also has a few with gender. Um, pay equity is still a big problem in the industry. And a lot of men talk the talk, but are there sort of material steps that you have 
taken to create a, a fairer or, or more equitable industry for your non-male co-workers? Uh, yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. All right. So you're all here in this room. Obviously, that comes with a lot of privilege. How do you deal with that, knowing there's a lot of people who aren't in that position, who don't have that kind of uh, privilege and power? I definitely, I renounce it. I renounce my privilege. And I, I would say, I don't, I mean, yeah, we're privileged, but think about the people who are more, there's a lot of people more privileged than us. Bill too. Gates. Mm -hmm. Bill Gates. Yeah. Yeah. Bill Gates, maybe. Bezos. 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 Mm -hmm. All these guys. I mean, you know, I think there's this sort of implied um, nepotism and this idea that, um, you know, daddy grabbed me by the bootstraps and threw me into a starring role is nonsense. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I was 20 nothing and I was kicking around the grove, running up the credit card bill, crashing my car, and, I, and my dad was like, you gotta get something together. Something has to happen for you. Mm -hmm. you know, he said, you're gonna have to hit the pavement just like everybody else, get some headshots. And, mm -hmm. and so he set up a lunch at the chateau with my godfather, Harrison Ford, mm -hmm. and he said, look, you wanna be an actor? And I said, yeah. And he said, all right, let me make a few calls. And he called around and I think it was at least a month before I even had an agent. Wow. Mm. It was probably another wow. couple Scary. weeks before I even had, uh, and I remember I said to myself, I said, I'm gonna save every script that I auditioned for mm -hmm. until I get a job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been there. And I'll never forget, yeah. I mean, by the time I finally booked my first mm -hmm. job, the stack of scripts was this high. Wow. <laughs> How many total scripts is that? 60 or 120 pages each. I mean, I probably went on seven or eight wow. auditions. Wow. And that's driving to the Valley and driving to, you know, back into and the, the Hollywood and then the Venice. That, I mean, that was taken care of. I mean, that's, at the end of the day, I had to do the part. Mm. Everyone forgets that. Did I pump gas uh, after school? No. Mm. But. Then I pump gas have, at work. In a movie. Yeah. In a movie, you would be pumping gas. Yeah, listen, we can all agree that it's not that. a working as an actor isn't working in a coal mine. No. You know? But, but, uh, if you're a coal miner, you know what you're going to do every day as an actor. Mm -hmm. I mean, I might mm -hmm. be an astronaut. I might be homeless. I might be, you know, so it's like, you know, I'm going up, I'm going down, I'm going left, I'm going right. I don't know what I'm going to be. Sometimes, I mean, like, yeah, and they usually tell you before you go into the role, but some, what if they didn't? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What if they didn't tell you before? Right. And, and they I do, but, and they do. What if they, but, but if they if, didn't, that would be that's so. That's an right. issue. Uh, acting is, uh, I, I, I don't know, I actually don't know if it is a privilege. It's a privilege just to, have a normal job, I would say. I would say that. I would say in a lot of ways, the plumber might have it a little bit easier than us. Think about all the stuff they get to do. Mm -hmm. What's that? What's that? Wrench. Re That's a wrench. That's a wrench? Mm -hmm. oh, That's I mean, a, I don't know. I, plunger, I think. Plunger? Or is it a plunger or a wrench? I don't know, I mean, what you were doing looked like a wrench. Oh, okay, were... well, whatever it is, I mean, it looks fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks fun, they got the, they got the water in the, in the bowl that they deal with. Yeah, toilet water. That's, yeah. Meet people. Mm -hmm. yeah. You get to meet people. Yeah. Yeah. That'd oh, be nice. It's kind of fun, actually, to just like get a, you know, it's like you never know when the phone's going to ring. You can't predict the leak. You can't predict the toilet getting mm -hmm. some. Hello? Right. Hello? Absolutely. Yeah. Hold on. Uh huh. Yep. I'll be right there. You just met someone new. You know, there you every go. day. Wow. It's, there you go. You just go. And you just yeah. did that guy's job as an actor well, doing I mean, it, but he can't do. No, I mean, that's the thing. I could plum. I don't know if plum could act. Or, exactly. You know what I mean? Right. It's like that's that. Right. In, in a lot of ways, acting is, you have multiple jobs. It's, mm -hmm. you know, you're. But you get paid one paycheck. That's unfair, come to think of it. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're acting, playing a plumber in a movie, you should get paid not just the acting salary, mm -hmm. but plumbing. Mm -hmm. The plumber cool. salary too. Absolutely. Stephen, I see that you're wearing a pin. Um, would you like to talk about the cause that it's in support of? Are we supposed to have a pin? 
don't have to, but just Yeah, this is a cause that's near and dear to me. Um, you know, when I was a kid, uh, holiday season, you know, I lost my dad and I lost my mom. Mm. Christmas. I can get a pen, actually. One second, sorry. Keep going, or just stop. Wait. And, um, sorry. Keep going. So, yeah, I lost them back to back to that's this horrible. rare cause. Oh my God. Yeah. And, um, you that's know, so I just, cool as I started to gain more resources with my art, I wanted to give back and then to this cause uh, specifically. So, um, I have a pen. it's always been tough around the holidays. And I just always want to make sure that family is involved. So, with this cause and mm. my, um, uh, um, sorry, I was, um, yeah, I uh, just want to give back. Thank you so much for sharing that. Moving on. I have uh, another pen now, sorry. Ah, um, what is it? What, uh, it's for uh, cancer? Uh, any, any particular type or? I mean, all cancer is cancer, so. I mean, I think everyone has been touched by cancer, so. It's not a specific? No, because I, I pretty much wanted to, I think we should cure all the cancers. And also, if we don't, and if you're basically saying one cancer, you're essentially saying, the other cancer is good, right? So, oh. yeah, that's a good point. I guess. Well, I, th I think it's a nice sentiment. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's very you know, touching. Yeah. Thanks, Justin. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sure not. Thank you. All fucked up over here. So. Um, I usually give them out when. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, you can. I you usually give them out. You said. Yeah, I mean, spread the word. Oh. Spread the word about cancer? Thank you very much. Thank you, Justin yeah. and Stephen, both. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Got to cure it. Yeah. Got to cure it. So how do you spend your free time? Do you spend a lot of time reading reviews? I try not to read that stuff. There's a lot oh, of negative energy, noise. you know? There's so much noise online. Mm -hmm. And I have this one critic who's really just like on my ass right now. It's this guy Ronan Farrow. Mm. Oh. This guy's always writing about me. Oh. He writes about me too, all, and I don't read it, but he's, I you know, I'm living rent free in his head. I yes, know that. yes. And I don't read anything he writes, but I know either. he's obsessed know with me. He's gone long on my, some, whatever I've done, mm -hmm. I don't, my, my work, I imagine. I imagine yeah. it's just probably criticism of my work, and probably. you know, I, eventually, you know, your art can't be for everyone. You can't so. read that stuff though. Mm. It gets in the way of the craft. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, everyone's a critic. But. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's Oscar season. But first, we got to talk about what happened at this past year's Oscars. I knew you were going to say that. Thoughts? To me, I just think it's not okay. You know, I don't know, people laugh about it, but I think it's serious because that was Will Smith's night to slap someone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Questlove made it about himself and had this historic win was just like it was okay not you know? okay. i mean did you see, he went up there and he had this list of yeah. people that he's just and it's the thank yous mm -hmm. the thank mm -hmm. yous he had all these people to thank and this is will smith's big night he yeah. wanted to slap somebody and i just i personally just feel bad for for yeah. jada yeah. Mm. yeah she had to sit there while quest, quest love was yeah you know, acting gracious about this award. And it's mm -hmm. like, meanwhile, she probably wants to think about the slap. Slap that her husband did. I'm thinking about growing up and just like all the kids who wanted to see yeah. a big slap. Like, and how do I explain it to my kid that Questlove won an award? Exactly, yeah. Harrowing. Devastating. And the fact that we've crossed that line now, it's like we can't unring that bell. Oh now, it's, yeah. now every slap oh. is gonna be just, you know, Ignored. There's going to yeah. be some some guy who comes up and wins an award. Well, that's our world. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Well, now that we're talking about hot button issues, studios are, are very averse, I'm sure you've noticed, to, to original scripts, to original concepts, and do more reboots and sequels and adaptations of existing IP intellectual property. What do you think about that? Do you have any feelings? Yeah, I think it's awesome. It's amazing. It's so yeah. cool. I think it's so, what some of these thinkers are doing with old ideas and toys and games and making them mm. into a movie, it's so fucking exciting mm -hmm. time that we live in. Mm. And I know I'm working on, um, I, I think it's, it's been announced, right? I think by the time this comes out, it'll yeah. have been announced, but I am voicing stairs in the upcoming Slinky movie. Oh. No way! Oh, no. You're yeah. gonna be in Slinky? I'm gonna be stairs. That's I think so it sounds oh so. Goodness. How crazy does that sound? Wow. I'm like, what? Like I grew up just being obsessed with stairs, and oh my you know, I was such a Slinky fan, and the IP was so strong. I heard that that. Yeah, I heard that that would they. Uh, I heard Mattel or or Wemo or someone has had, had licensed it out. And that's yeah. So yeah. Cool. I mean, it's one thing led to another. All of a sudden, I'm voicing stairs. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, she knew you were going to be the guy. Yeah. I, I, I mean, obviously, you know, everyone was guessing it. who's it going to be, but I, well, I ended up getting it. And isn't the the Slinky is being played by like a woman, right? It's the first, yeah. What it's so it is sort of like this progressive flipping of the script, wow. where you would expect Slinky to be a man. You know, mm. you'd That's expect powerful. him to look like. Jason Momoa, probably. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, like Slinky is being played by a woman. And I wow. think that's so cool. And she gets pushed down the stairs? You know how Slinkies mm -hmm. fall down the stairs, go one at a time. Mm -hmm. What they're doing, this is the first live action Slinky movie, oh, and they're wow. having a woman just walk down the stairs at a normal speed. Wow. And wow. that is sort of, you, it doesn't look like a Slinky per se, mm -hmm. but that's the, the sort of, Slinky ethos and that pathos and mm. that mm. that slinky oomph, wow. you know is That's in so there cool. mm. in this weird way that I think is so magical mm. and um, it's know, half half live action half animated I would say personally the IP stuff that I'm I'm stoked about is the whole Zapruder cinematic universe. Oh my God! I heard Kevin Feige was fighting for that. Oh yes. my yeah. God! Yeah, Everyone's trying to get in yeah, the, the Zapruder mm -hmm. cinematic universe. It's in, who, I mean, I just who? I mean, you have to. It's so the storytelling is so rich. You can just go on and on. There's use so the, much. There's the Lego Zapruder. Is, Zapruder yeah. two. Yeah. Here he comes again. Zapruder three. The final. Who, um, who is? I just haven't read it. But who comes again in the second one? Is it? JFK comes again and Lee Harvey Oswald. I don't want to give away the ending. Okay, wow. don't, I don't, I don't give spoil it for you. Yeah, no spoilers. I know I, all of the don't Zapruder fans out there, they're going to lose their minds. Well, I saw you were too. working on Oswald's Adventures, the children's fantasy story. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. But yeah, I mean, yeah, Oswald's Adventures. Mm. It's a children's movie where Lee Harvey Oswald, there's the book depository that he oh. does the assassination in. This, it's this whole new take on the story where Lee Harvey Oswald reads the books in the depository mm. and it's got this fun like family friendly spirit in it where he jumps mm. into the book and he plays around with all these characters that we love like Moby Dick. Oh my god. Mm. And Lee Harvey Oswald is swimming with Moby Dick and Moby Dick says, "Hi. How's it going, Lee?" Oh wow. And that's Lee's so like cool. and wow, he so cool. learns yes. all of these things. God, from all so these characters, cool. and it's so fun to watch with your kids and your family. Does he end up exiting the book and shooting the head of the president again, or is it just... Well, it, I mean, like, let's just say there's something at the end for the adults. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. mm -hmm. I just, just think the that. ZCU is one of the just coolest franchises yeah, out there. I'm so excited to see who plays the camera. In um, yeah. the the upcoming one, right oh, here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, uh, I'll volunteer. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm right here. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just such an exciting time. It's to amazing. Be what, it's amazing. It's amazing, is what it is. Yeah. It is amazing. I think the thing I'm most excited about is, you know, that we've just begun to sort of, you know, see the tip of the iceberg with different IPs. You know, of course, we've got comics and we've mm. got toys. You know, but I think what we're gonna really start seeing is an avalanche of 
other products related to food. I know that Snickers has been shopping a movie. Mm -hmm. I know that Funyuns has been shopping a movie. I know that, like Slinky, the toy community, you know, I mean, they've got Connect Four is already in the pipeline, mm -hmm. uh, Hungry Hungry Hippos, mm -hmm. they've got Shoots mm -hmm. and Ladders, which is supposed to be a huge Christmas movie uh -huh. that's coming. So, I mean, I think we're gonna start to really, this stuff is gonna start raining down on us in a way that we haven't seen before, yeah. and it's throwing. Tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Tip of the iceberg. Yeah. I, I know that, Vince, you have been working on Broccoli Live. Yes, I have. Which yes, is I the have. sort of live musical event that's yes. based on the, I, the, there's this guy, essentially, that has the IP of broccoli, the food. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, yes. across the board, broccoli everywhere, and that just, that's the first name, that's the name of the first song in the Yes. What is musical. the role that you play? Oh, uh, I will be playing the cheese. Ah. That goes all over the broccoli. Wow. It's a wow. very hmm. intense role. Incredible. I've wow. been preparing for quite a while for it. Yeah. I learned to dance. I also had to learn to do the worm to represent the cheese mm. going over the broccoli. That's so it's, cool. It's a, I shouldn't say any more. Yeah. Given too yeah. much away. Yeah. So. Yeah. I auditioned for that. You did? Yeah, congratulations, you did? yeah. Oh, my God. God. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fist fight. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Fist fight. <laughs> But you ended up landing on your feet, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know that you had, were just working on this really mm -hmm. fucking cool project, the Cool Whip movie. So good. Where yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I can like complain. about the desserts and the like dancing foods and the Cool Whip. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, I mean, you're going to you're you're crash. You're yeah. going to kill yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I auditioned for the strawberries. You did? No wow. Way. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh my There's God. some riffs in this table. How did they not cast you as a strawberry? Oh, That's another story for another day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's a different world now. Things are changing so quickly, and certain things are off limits. Is there anything you wouldn't touch? Project you wouldn't do? I, I can I tell a long story? Oh, please. Oh, Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, yeah sure. Totally. Okay. So basically, this was back when I was in college. Um, I go to this bank, and I walk into the bank, and I see, I, I see the bank teller, and I go up to the bank teller, and I say, can I, have, can I get $100 withdrawn from my account? And basically what happens is the bank teller, uh, the bank teller gives me two $50 bills instead of uh, I wanted 520s. Hmm. If, that's interesting. I, I guess that felt like a little bit longer in my head. Um, so there's a new segment uh, that we're adding on. Um, it was, I said it was a long story, but maybe it wasn't long, but I still think it was good. You guys get the message, right? From the story, you get the message. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's that you, you can't always get what, what you want, because I got 520s and it's 250s. You get that? You, uh, you, can you got two fifties. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the but same amount of money. Yeah, yeah. So you get the message. Good. Just because it's, I said long, and I get that. I get that. It's, it wasn't that long. Right. But. It's relative. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Don't good. No. Bad. Again, I was on severance. I was on severance. That's for, that's yeah. That's great. Good for you, man. Good for you. All right, guys. As we're starting to wind down, I wonder if you have a message for the next generation. Do you have any advice to young actors? Don't be discouraged of failure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have advice to old actors? It's never too late. Do you have any advice for the Duplass brothers? Just keep at it. Just keep trying. And does anybody have advice for the Cohen brothers? Don't give up. Keep trying. You know, if, if a door shuts, that's a window. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any advice for a librarian? If you fail, try, try again. Um, does anybody have any advice for me? No, you're, you're doing great. You're doing great. Keep being yeah. you. Just yeah. always be yourself. I love you. Because everybody else is taken. So. Yeah. 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 Thank you.
I should put that on my um, fridge. So last question, uh, what would you like to see change in the industry? I mean, access really. Um, mm. You know, personally, I, it's the whole reason I, I have my nonprofit. It's just something that's so near and dear to my heart and it's about working with these kids from communities where, you know, the schools don't really have funded theater programs and they're just the f sweetest fucking mm. kids, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, hearts of gold. It sounds. Yeah. I get more out of it than they do, to be honest. Absolutely. Sometimes, um, well, but it's a cool thing. I mean, I'm going to use this opportunity to plug mine. I also have a nonprofit. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. It's called the Hope for Music Foundation. It kind of caters to inner city youths and uh, it sets them up with a musical instrument and oh. a private yeah. tutor. It's and cool. it's yeah. It just I love music, so I just music builds get confidence. Back. Absolutely, cool. yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I got one. To, um, oh, huh. yeah. really? Wow. Uh, words of love. It's for children. To give them the opportunity to read, mm -hmm. uh, the chance to read that I, um, I didn't have when I was growing up. That's wow. so great. That's amazing. Mine is Acting for Life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can find out more at actingforlife.com. Oh, mm. that's great. Wow. Yeah. Check it out. Got one too. Oh, yeah. okay. yeah. that's amazing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not for profit, uh, stages mm -hmm. for changes. Uh, give wow. access to art of theater. Wow. So yeah. underprivileged cool. kids worldwide. Wow. Really passionate about That's it. That's amazing. Yeah, man. Thanks. That's so cool. Thanks, man. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. I have one too. What? Mm -hmm. I have one too. That's great. Cool. Yeah. What? It, what is yeah, the? Yeah. It's a. Pretty, it's a. It's called Kids Corner. Kids' Corner? Mm -hmm. It's called Kids' Corner. Is it? I think what does it do? Basically, there's some, <clears throat> I came up with it because there's so many kids that, you know, don't have anyone in their corner. Well, that sounds lovely. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for... It's, a, it's a, an organization that has basically, I, a not-for-profit. Mm -hmm. that I um, sort of got together just because. This, I mean, when you look around and you see what's happening to the kids and, and you look on any corner and you see kids and you just go like, oh, I can't even believe we're... So I started a website called kidscorner.biz. Um, you can check it. Where does the money go? Basically 100% of it goes to kids. Cool. Cool. That sounds great. Yeah. You can check it. There's a website. If you don't believe me. I believe you. I believe you. We, we believe you. Yeah. yeah. No, check it though. I believe, I believe you, so. You Give know. your phone on There's no need to check. Yeah. It's on airplane mode, so. Take so. it off airplane mode. Check it. Kids Corner. That biz. Um, check it. Go ahead, check it. Justin, we don't have to no, check it. No, I, I just felt like he wasn't believing me that I don't have a, everyone else got a nonprofit and I have a nonprofit no, called I, Kids Corner. Even, even if you didn't, I'll go to the, I'll go to the website. Have one, that no, just, just, just go to the that website. Issue. All right, fine. So you said cool. .biz? Yep. Is it, is it normal for .biz to be? No. It's .biz. Um, just. Huh. K-I-D is, K-I-D-S. K-I-D, K-I-D-Z. Can oh. you see your phone? No, it's all right. Can you see your phone? I'll just put it in myself. Oh, I don't know. It's K-I-D-Z. I don't know. That's okay. I believe you. I believe you. So, thank you. Stu, you believe me? Yeah. You believe me? Uh, Do you I believe me? Sure. Yeah. I don't know. <coughs> yeah, of course. Sure. Right. Yeah, yeah, we all have. Totally. It sounds great. No, it's cool. helping kids. And helping the kids. Yeah. We great. all got a charity, don't we? Yeah. 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 The fact that the website doesn't, I mean, it's probably just technical. It probably, yeah. the Wi-Fi in here maybe. Oh. Or yeah, I think I was getting spotty Wi-Fi. Might be a Wi-Fi issue. Yeah. 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 You don't believe me. 
No, no, no. no. Yeah, we believe you. It's corn. That sounds. No. Oh. Um. I, uh, thank you. Thank you, guys, all so much. For yeah. Oh. Oh. Real. Oh, you don't have. Come on. You don't. It's. Um, well, thank you guys so much for coming. Um. It's Kids Corner! That bit, Kids with a Z! Ever fresh! Should we wrap up? I, yeah, we can, yeah. Um, well, thank you guys so much for coming in. Um, and it was great to chat. Totally. Really good to hear, totally. hear all of your insights yeah. on, totally. on the industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and to hear about all of your, um, your organizations. And, uh, oh, yeah. 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 It's great. It was Thanks for having us. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. 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 Anytime. Anytime. Yeah, yeah. Come, come again. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Next time we have another round table. Yeah. I'll see you at the uh, party. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank did you, you so much. Did you park on a B lot? Yeah, I did. Oh, man. Okay. Can you get this? Oh, thank you. Can you get this mic? Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh. Lovely to meet you. Thanks. Great job. Thank you.